framework. You know, there is no special definition for framework actually. People uh, will have. You know, everyone will write their own customized way uh, according to their how the website works, and they create that uh, some you know some test cases and they run them in parallel. They generate uh, reports for it, and uh, data driven they take uh, data from Excel sheet or uh, some separate file, and uh, you know there is no separate definition. This is framework, and we should all follow some particular guidance. Okay. Everyone will have their own style of writing frameworks. So basically, what things we have to cover is like, you know, how effectively we are reusing, we are not avoiding the reuse of work. That's all. How effectively we are storing, and if something goes wrong, we, because uh, in our side there will be hundreds of websites, right? If something goes wrong, uh, you should be able to correct it immediately within uh, one or two hours, you know, but not uh, taking lot of time. You know, that is how we develop framework. Like is our own way how we develop simple, easy, and uh, which we can uh, handle everything in one place. Like so, as I told you, everyone will have their own style. Okay, we will try to in our uh, framework. What I'm uh, one thing I'll tell you uh, that is impossible to implement uh, framework live before you uh, because that is. It will take a lot of time and should be said continuously. But in training, if I, it, uh, I will will be dealing nothing if I start implementing live. But okay, half of the part, you know, outer boundary of uh, framework, I'll implement and show. And inner things, how I pulled all the things, that all step by step, I have the framework ready. I'll show you. Okay, definitely you'll understand what all happening in the framework and how you will even you can start building your own framework. Okay. There are two frameworks. You know, framework supports available in market. When you are dealing with Selenium, Eclipse especially, they are JUnit and TestNG. As TestNG is very popular and it's a recent one, it has a lot of features compared to JUnit in terms of annotations and in terms of running them in parallel. You know, uh, the features are more for TestNG compared to JUnit. Like generating reports, uh, report style which you, HTML reports we can generate by using TestNG. The reports UI style is very good for TestNG compared to JUnit. And uh, I also uh, found that the speed of execution with TestNG is fast compared to JUnit. So there's a lot of features. So mostly uh, people will use recently they will be using only TestNG, especially with WebDriver. It's a good combination to use. So we'll start with what is test engine now and how can we import in our Eclipse. Right? Now you want to import test engine jar files into your Eclipse. This is some different way, not like clicking right click properties or something. So well, let's start with screenshots. If something is importing or exporting, better to start with screenshots, right? Yeah, one second. Go to help. Okay, install new software is there, right? I'll take the screenshot. Install new software, click on here. Now, you will see this window. Right? Simple here, we are telling uh, Eclipse that go and install a new software. Right. So now we have to give what we required, like from which site we have to download Eclipse, you know, that website URL we have to give here, and we have to click here, add. Let's see what URL. Type http com Eclipse. If your Eclipse is above 3.0 version, Else, type this one. Definitely, I guess your version will be more than 3.4 uh, only. Just hit this URL and paste here. Let's start. 
okay then click on add i okay i will not click on here because it's already okay having in my machine right it's already having in my machine so you just click that add and click on next next and finally you finish it okay it will be installed in your machine right nothing just click this url and uh, click on next 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 uh, you will show that uh, complete i'll take this screenshot okay then you proceed further that's all this is a simple way to install eclipse there's nothing here I saw. Okay, once you complete the three na three navigation, you will get that. So next, next, next. Once you done with that, go to here window, right, and check here in preferences. I'll take this in short. You should see. You should able to see test engine there. In this. box if test engine is installed you will be seeing here see your data management help install java the browsing team terminal test engine okay that means test engine is successfully installed in your machine this is the way to cross check whether it is present or not in your system okay So are you clear? What's uh, how? Just how to go with navigation and all? I have screenshots for you, with you for you, so that you can do this. Um, it's not finding the site for me. Uh, what are you the, telling? Yeah, yeah, it's not finding the site when I uh, fill in b e u s t dot com forward slash eclipse one. Uh, there, there's no next. Like the next is uh, grayed out. me hmm next is grayed out it will be grayed out for me because i have just already have in my machine so why it will be grayed out Okay, then use this one. And uh, click here, and you will see next. I guess now change the URL. Okay, I think now next is able. Is able now? We can yeah, proceed. Yeah, right. I see that one. Okay. Just after that. Once you make, go to Windows Preferences and check it whether you have or not. Right. Now we will quickly see annotations. These are the annotations. What are exactly these annotations? Uh, yesterday I started. to create a direct uh, thing because it's some all uh, right hmm thing is okay now when you are uh, oh, i just created one class in same our uh, uh, our training folder is there na web dev where i am all i am writing for classes then i just created one more class and simply uh, i'll write annotations i'll explain one by one what are the annotations now if i give the rate of test and public void some register okay that means now my system i'll give some test number 1 
now i am telling now no main here basically till before till yesterday we have run our scripts by using java classes like java main method we have used java to run our scripts but uh, today we are not using any java here because if you don't use public static void man that's it there is no java point of java here simple thing so then how we will be able to run this test don't worry everything the test ng will handle that just import test ng libraries where it is required now simply i gave at the rate of test okay in that test ng library everything is there how to handle uh, the function and how to execute everything it has in our library so we are not going to use any java here no public static void main simply we will write create our method we will create and you keep annotation at the rate of test that is i am going to execute one method test if you want to give give it before executing one uh, method okay this common here. just move your mouse here import test ng annotations that's it finish now i'll create one more test so what basically here we will do is we don't use any java here we directly execute our stuff with test ng only test number 2 again this is test register register apply i'll write some register and apply right now this is the second method as i told you before every method you have to keep test annotation then only it will identify okay uh, this is some uh, test ng thing if i comment out like this it's not throwing error you know but this will not run okay then okay let's try to find one more final method and then we'll go for other annotation now right, it's simple just place uh, your thing i have applied uh, this are your reply three we'll run this now how we'll run this now i have to see test number 1 2 3 in output see here like previous class i did not use any public static void main and nothing and running also i'll right click here run as i'll tell run as test ng set not on uh, java java is not visible also here because there is no main so java option we did not get test ng set i will get right click run as i'll take this screenshot one second test ng set before i'll paste here test ng set Uh, i think complete script see here the reports how we are generate of course this is are not html report html report is something different which i will tell you later see here uh, test ng running and these are the test 2 1 3 they got passed first one first test is passed next is passed next is passed okay total we have run three test here because as we have given with the annotation three annotations right three methods so it giving reports like this total test three failure zero skip zero and three zero like that and these are the reports you can see the reports in console in the uh, proper way 